T-Wedge is easy to configure. In order to use the default keyboard wedge mode, you just start T-Wedge with a double click. Then select the interface to which your device is connected to. Open the interface configuration dialog. For serial devices, just adjust the COM port number and specify the communication parameters, as well as the handshake options. For devices connected via network, enter the host name or the IP address. In addition, specify the TCP IP port number to which T-Wedge should connect to. If you're using a Bluetooth device, T-Wedge enumerates the available devices automatically. This may take a moment. For the following examples, I use the Bluetooth barcode scanner called Voyager BT. Just select it from the list or enter the Bluetooth address directly into this field. The options below are helpful if you want T-Wedge to automatically recover lost network or Bluetooth connections. If you're using a Bluetooth device, this may happen if your device is out of range. Confirm the interface settings with OK, and let's take a look at other important configuration options. T-Wedge groups device data automatically into packets. The data packets are transmitted to the target application as a single unit. In the dialog Data Packets, you can specify the parameters for this purpose. A data packet is defined by its size, by the maximum time required for receiving it, or by delimiter characters. You can combine these settings as required. The default values work quite well with a manually triggered barcode scanner. You can receive a maximum of 100 bytes per scan. All scans within 100 milliseconds are treated as a single barcode. There are also other configuration options. With the script editor, you can configure every aspect of the data acquisition logic. You can adjust hotkeys as well as logging functions for debugging. You can also adjust general preferences like startup mode of T-Wedge. Let's look at a live example now. This example uses Microsoft Excel as target application. I will scan barcodes with the Bluetooth scanner. The scan barcode data is automatically entered into the worksheet. I start the data acquisition by clicking Start in T-Wedge. T-Wedge now connects to the adjusted Bluetooth scanner. A successful connection is indicated here. T-Wedge is now listening for data. Now I activate Microsoft Excel and scan some barcodes. Every time I scan a barcode, T-Wedge receives the barcode data, displays it in the protocol window, transforms the data into virtual keystrokes, and forwards them to Microsoft Excel as typed by the user. This keyboard wedge mode can be used with all applications accepting user input. This technique works even with completely browser-based applications. In addition, T-Wedge works fine in terminal server or Citrix environments. This was the first example video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the other T-Wedge videos to learn more about advanced configuration possibilities and direct database access.